Hi guys, and welcome back to another speed paint. I uh, hope you've been having a good week so far and that you've got something fun planned for the weekend. I've got another D&D session scheduled with our group, which is pretty exciting. We're on the third session of our Far North arc in the city of Mirabar. We're going to be trekking to the spine of the world to investigate a stolen clutch of dragon eggs, hopefully without running into the angry dragon in the process. This week's video is going to be short and sweet. I'm working on some future video projects, doing some storyboarding and practice because I really want to be able to make some animated story time videos. The D&D animation community on YouTube makes some really amazing stuff and I've been feeling inspired to contribute for a long time, but it is a little bit intimidating, so I'm uh, working my way up to it. Hopefully I'll have an update for you on that pretty soon. I'm also trying out the time-lapse feature in Clip Studio Paint for this video. Uh, it's a nice feature, it's really convenient and cool to be able to watch your drawing process back inside the drawing program itself. The only thing for videos that I don't like is that it only records the canvas itself, so I'm missing the footage of what tools and brushes I'm using, which I do like to have included. I personally think it's really useful to see the whole process when I'm watching a speed paint, so next time I'll probably go back to screen recording proper, but we'll be okay just this time. On the subject of dragons, uh, this week's speed paint is of Kaz, a young bronze dragon and sea captain who agreed to come along for the journey north. He wanted to come with us to try out the airship that we're currently using and spend some more time with our wizard Halorna, who he's become romantically entangled with. Normally when Kaz sails, he crews his ship with a team made up entirely of duplicates of himself and uh, sings his own harmonized sea shanties. As a character, he's really very extra, which actually suits Halorna very well also. They're both just lots of hair and sparkles and a lot of fun, so they're a cute couple. Rooting for those two. As for sense of danger, I think Kaz's does leave something to be desired, so we do have a hard time not worrying about him when we're not around just because he tends to assume that everyone has good intentions and, broadly speaking, that attitude just usually gets you into trouble. We got a lot more than we bargained for with Kaz coming with us because the city we've come to in order to find ourselves a dragon actually has a long history and was founded specifically by dragon hunters. Prior to this, it looked like they specifically hunted chromatic dragons, but a few of the founding families in the city seem to have taken an interest in Kaz. At the end of our last session, we actually had to pull him out of a dinner he'd gotten invited to with one of the head families, famous for draining the magic of dragons to use for immortality. We're not sure if they're still specifically hunting chromatic dragons, or if they've started to also hunt metallics, but they were acting very suspicious, so we did our best to get him out of there as fast as possible. Right now we've split up the party so that a few members can keep an eye on Kaz and keep him safe. It might be a bit of a challenge since he's sort of a wandering free spirit and the city that we're in is a hub of luxury and gambling and general fun and debauchery. It also means that we're going to be down a pretty strong NPC and a few of our party members in a dangerous situation, so hopefully we won't get into any trouble at the spine of the world. But I, uh, I guess I'll be finding out soon enough. I feel like in particular when you're working on a character who's really extra, you kind of want their character design to also reflect how over the top they are. So in this specific case, I'm drawing out a bunch of little bronze trinkets and beads that Kaz keeps stashed in his hair. Obviously, your dragon characters have to have a little bit of a horde on them at all times, just for good measure. It was interesting trying to get them to feel like a cohesive texture, but also have them be bright and shiny enough to stand out, but I think we got it in the end. Also added in a little earring that's kind of inspired by the jewelry in Howl's Moving Castle, because I feel like that's the vibe. It works for them. The other character I'm kind of referencing here in the design is uh, Tiger's Eye from Sailor Moon Supers. Uh, that's the fourth season of the original run of the anime. If you haven't seen it, it's one of my all-time favorites and I definitely recommend giving it a watch. It's about 200 episodes, so it is a bit long, but it's a really great series and it's, uh, it's one of the classics. What can I say? 
I'll just drop in a photo of him here real quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Anyway, I'm hoping next week I'll have more of an update for you on the longer story time videos. For now, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!